Business is like a baby. Like babies, we were all conceived and then nurtured into childhood and then adult stage. Every big business was once an idea. Every big project was once an idea. Today, we're going to be talking about how to develop a project idea. Welcome to another edition of the Today Business Journey on LA Business TV. Project idea stems from idea generation. Idea generation can be explained as the process of creating, developing, and communicating abstract, concrete, or visual ideas. It enables you to expand your ideas beyond just thinking. Ideas come from identifying a need. A project is regarded as a sequence of activities that have to be done in order to achieve a particular goal. It is not just a commodity or a goal to be purchased, it usually has a promise attached to it that is success as well as a risk. Identifying a suitable project idea is very important for a startup. It is important to identify this or to do your business at the right time and at the right place. It is also important to know if your project is promising and if it's feasible. Generating an idea of producing new products, new services, or a totally new business requires a deep study of the environmental changes as well as an assessment or an evaluation of what you can do. This brings us to the characteristics of a project idea. Today, we choose to term this SMART. We choose to call the characteristics of a project idea SMART. What does SMART mean? We start with S. S means specific objective. What's the objective of your project idea? What do you want to produce? Do you want to produce spoons, plates, milk, whatever? Next, M. M stands for measurable. Is your project idea measurable? The next letter is A. A stands for achievable or attainable. Have you been able to evaluate if your project idea is attainable? Now, we'll go to the letter R. R stands for realistic. Is your project realistic or is it just a visual idea or is it just something abstract that you have in mind? You need to know if your project is realistic. Next, T. T stands for time bounded. You need to know how long your project is going to take for you to start up or to set up. Ideas come from different sources. They may be finding gaps in issues, copying or improving existing ideas, hobbies, daydreams, building skills, or even finding new ways to do things. There are so many places where you could get ideas from. A project idea can contribute in achieving specified developmental objectives. For this to be possible, the project idea should require minimum investment, lower competence, and should have a high potential return. This brings us to choosing a potential promising project idea. Selecting a project idea from alternatives should be best suited to the entrepreneur's capacity, competencies, and willingness. It can also be done by experts or professionals who can better orientate and modify the idea. At this stage, the following criteria should be considered. Consistency with government policies, availability of inputs, and available markets, cost effectiveness, compatibility with the promoter, and the project risk level. When this is done, you can go into developing your idea into a project. The first thing you do is you get a paper, you write down the name of your project. If you do not have a name, you can call it my project. Next, you need to outline the idea. What is the idea? What is the conception that you have about your project? The next thing you do is to give a summary about the project from the objectives to the expected outcome. Clearly define your project. One, you need to estimate the duration. Next, you need to state the difference of your project or your project ideas with others. For example, if you're offering a service or if you're offering a product, what makes you different from your competitors? What makes you outstanding in the market? The next, you need to clearly define the start time, the end time, the cost of your project idea and the aims. You need to be realistic. To be realistic, you need to identify key success rates and also failure possibilities. The next thing you need to define your cost if you need funds or you need capital. 
Next, you need to check on the risk level or the risk factor. You can also talk about your skills or your experiences. We'll go to the fourth aspect, which is the steps. In the steps, you need to outline every sequence or every step that you're going to take in the project. The next thing you need to do is to ask the five questions. Who, what, when, why, and how. What is your market? What is the legislation? Who are your partners? Who are your competitors? Why do you do the business? How do you improve your business? How do you get customers? How do you sustain your customers? All these questions, you need to answer them before going further. The same thing you need to do is to show proof. You need to build up evidence, reports and research to support your project. After that, you can look at the cost and cash flow. How much will your project cost? Are you liable to tax? How will you obtain revenue and what expenses will you incur? With all these tools, you can then test and review your project idea. Thank you for watching and see you on our next edition. Do not forget to follow us on our social media pages. On Facebook, we are Ellie Business TV One, and on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, we are Ellie Business TV. We expose African businesses to the world and bring world business opportunities to Africa. LA Business TV. Unlock your business potential.